What's going on, everyone, everywhere? Never fear, Logan Jays here, back with another sneaker review. Today, I bring you a pickup on Michael Jordan's birthday. These released yesterday, 216. Today is 217. Happy birthday to the GOAT. Um, we had a release years ago. Was it uh, nine years ago? Which I will show the sneaker release around the same time. So, feel like, you know, Jordan likes to release this colorway around his birthday. I think the logistics, everything got pushed back. These were supposed to release last year, but happened to fall around his birthday, basically the day before. And so, um, first off, let me show you the box. You got your black and red Nike swoosh and branding, registered R's showing right there. You got your Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG 555088404. Dark Marina Blue. Black, white, retail, 170. Picked these up through finish line. Was able to get them through bot free access. Um, got in there a little bit. Not like as soon as I got the email and I was able to get them. So, um, yeah, price is not too crazy as far as other releases. But I'm just glad I was able to get them. Um, didn't really try to get a second pair or anything. Uh, I did try to draw. A Nike, but it was a weird release. I didn't get the notification that I was not selected for like a half an hour later. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, but um, I'll show you the inside of the box. You got your stamp action right there. Nothing else. There is no sticker action going on here. Tissue paper and your receipt. There it is. Finished line. Here they are. Woo! Yes, the marina blue. Oh, let me get the extra set of laces out. Show you that really quick. They come with the marina blue in them, and you got your extra set of black laces and white. And there is no branding on the outside, no Nike, no Jumpman Jordan. So, just in case, you know, you're like, well, and yeah. Show you the shoe tree while around the lace area really quick. As these are a size 11, I showed you the box though. And do a quick comparison on some other similar colors. Um, it does not look like any of the other colors. So, But you got your dark marina blue rubber outsole going on right there. Your Nike branding going on there. Only one R there. Nice pivot point right there. White midsole, white stitching. You got your dark marina blue running throughout the whole sneaker, and it is a tumbled leather. Yeah, and the black has tumbled as well. Some parts look smooth, but I think over time they will get tumbled. But I'll get you an up close look at that. You got your Air Jordan Wings logo up here in black, stamped on that blue collar. Get you an up close look at that tumbled leather. It's not as tumbled as we've seen on other recent releases and past releases, but yeah. And show you over here. It looks smooth, but over time with wear, these will. This one looks as the most smooth, and it almost looks uh, matte, but um, it's like in between, a little shiny and, and matte-ish color. Reminds me of the uh, medium gray shadow uh, that released in 2018-ish. So that's what it reminds me, the leather look of it. As far as the feel, it feels like it'll break in very nicely. Yeah. You got your perforations on your toe box there. Your tongue is black and it's got that nylon material. At the top of the tongue, you got your Nike Air and the blue tab and white lettering. Got your registered R's right there on the back as well. Normally, if you lift this up, you can see some letters and stuff there so yeah it's hard to really uh, see that the way they do it and uh, yeah I really like what they did with these um, sock liner is black and your insole is white with dark marina blue lettering so there you have it 
and your production dates were 6 15 21 to 8 9 21. Let's see if I get you an up close look at that. Laces are in the way. So. Let's see if I can get that. All right, that's good enough there. And we'll do a quick comparison on the colors from past releases. And yeah, I really like these. So if you um, are looking for colorway that I'm about to show, color block, basically, um, just, uh, yeah, I would get these. So we got your 2013 Royal. I enjoyed the one. And best to show you the heel. It would be a little easier. That's the leather color will show a little bit better so you can see that. Pull them back so you can see it a little differently there. So this is looking like it's like darker. So that's why it's got that dark marina. It looks like a murky waterish uh, look to it compared to the um, other color. This is your 2017 uh, Royal Blue. It's very vibrant, as you can see. Show you them side by side. It's very close looking. So, you know, if you're really wanting these and you don't want to pay, I would suggest you get these. These over time will probably get washed out and look like this. So it's it's got that vibe that, you know, people want that vintage look. So these got like a pre-vintage, but not fully there, getting there look to them. So... I like I like this colorway. I like it. It, fe it feels like the '80s, you know. I don't know. It feels like it belongs. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Um, this is your Game Royal from 2018. As I said, those were uh, the Royals were 2017, and this is the Game Royal, so they are a little different. As you can see, you can see the more vibrant blue and more pop to it. And this is a good one for anybody looking for Chicago's but wants something in blue as they are not really feeling the red. But, you know, Jordan wore those and, you know, but, you know, some people don't really care for what Jordan wore. It's what they like in the colors. So, and we have the 2020 Royal Toes. Here you go. It'd be hard to see because you only got the collar piece up here compare but you can see the difference in the color there I'll show you the toe box in case you know that wasn't enough there still a little bit more pop in the outsoles you can see that I'll go through them really quick with the other ones as I didn't show that So, um, yeah, it's a fire sneaker. Glad I was able to add it to the collection, you know, be on the lookout for restocks. Um, you know, they did a good job. I like this color blocking and, you know, I don't know how many more colorways they're planning on doing. More than likely, some of the ones that are been really good selling are, um, that, that you're, you're probably going to see is, um, the, uh, shattered backboard. A green pine green core purple would like to see I'm trying to think uh, other colors I think those are good for now I don't know um, we got the pollens we got the the shadow 2.0s that released last year those released on my birthday but I wasn't able to pick those up at retail um, those got like a, a new buck upper uh, where the blue is here it's gray while uh, the reverse breads that released was it 2020 those uh 85s you know um got the uh, full grain leather upper entire and they're shaped different you know the whole build is different so but uh but yeah um if you're looking i think that was like an introduction to that color block because you know uh they hadn't done it before so it was like yeah we're gonna um, finally release that and uh you know they've been pumping them out so we're already on the fourth one now um from that colorway color block 
and we'll see what they're doing with the other one the white and red ones i forgot what those are going to be called heritage something yeah i don't remember the name of those but um but yeah but yeah they did a good job i like these a lot uh i'm always wearing the uh the royals um just have these for the collection those are my favorite ones uh another thing the sock liner is a little different i wanted to get into that but when you start comparing colors and all this stuff you start losing it and um so where we at where we at hold on so here we go you got the sock liner the marine dark marina blues and the uh, royal toes are the same as you can see they got this like smooth silky feeling vibe going to them then you got your game royal and these got that og uh sock liner vibe to them as you can see this is the game royal they got that og sock liner i don't know what uh, makes them be put into um that whole og i mean they're all called high og but i don't know what makes them get put on with that sock liner i don't i don't know and so you got the 2017 pair of the Royals. And that has the OG. Another thing that, that's getting me is, you know, they, they do it with the 85s. They did it with the 2016 uh, band ones. These didn't get that treatment. I know they're doing it with the high, the 85 highs, but it's interesting that they didn't do that with these. Um, you know, as they were going down the line, and especially starting out with the 2015 Chicago's. I don't know why they didn't do it, and more than likely, uh, they will do it with the 85 hives. And you figure it's going to be 84. Uh, they're going to start releasing the the uh, the 85 hives, even though Jordan wore them in 84, and the whole thing is since 84, he wore them in 84. So I'm thinking Nike's going to try to like sell them starting in 2024 so we'll see about that they might stick to um 2025 and just do the whole year but i'm thinking either 2024 and 2025 those two years they're going to be pumping out a lot of high og colorways like og colorways like true ogs anyway let's get into uh the sock liner on the 2013 and you can see this one they gave us a little bit more of a Quilted high-end uh, sock liner, which I loved. Uh, I, I love, um, but um, for anybody that's like, oh man, they didn't give us the uh, the true OG sock liner. This was a nice little um, addition to it. The leather is, um, eh, but I love these. You know, there's really no tumble to it. Uh, smooth leather, and yeah, love these. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the sock liner on those compared to this one. And I don't know why they sometimes switch it up, but they do. And, uh, yeah. YouTube, it's a little bit longer video than I wanted to do. But when you pull out all these sneakers and you start talking a little bit longer than what you want, it gets that long. All right, YouTube, it's your boy, Logan J. I hope you enjoyed the review. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment as I will hit you back. And I'm signing out. Peace.